mid. Like, you can, you, you can have mid. We'll take the jungle. We'll take the side lanes. Ladies and gentlemen, the draft has been locked in. Alter Ego Esports versus Omega Esports. We already talked about how these teams are looking. You butters. All yours, Omega Esports versus Welcome Alter Ego, game number one. Legend. Let's get this show on the road, finally. First game up today. Let's bring it as Alter Ego going to be going up against Omega Esports. And again, we should be expecting no, nothing too soon, especially since Omega, they do have the early game composition, but level twos are, are way, way more useful in comparison to level ones. You would expect people to just go for the invade with the Roger, Sylvana, and the Matilda, but Alter Ego Esports, they're not going to push their luck. They're not going to put themselves in the 50. 50. Mm. Yeah, speaking of 50 50s here, you know, like hitting in towards the late game, that's where uh, team fights are especially crucial. And we've talked about Omega, they are a very team fight oriented team. And there it goes a little bit of the movements coming across, and Kenji has already spot out the danger. And perhaps there will be a little bit of contest coming in the way soon. But let's talk about this matchup here down below. This the Yuzong as well as Lapu Lapu because they're going to be contributing pretty huge in towards mid game. Yep. And Kenji there might have pulled the trigger on his flicker a bit too early. He didn't know that Liam Murphy didn't get the stun. So he just went for it and the spear is there just to harass. And look at the damage for Heat here. That hurts a lot. Yeah, I mean, Matilda, again, she's really great in the early game just to harass their opponents. She does struggle to finish them off, and that's why you see some teams actually taking the flame shot here and there, or even the Farsa to just make sure, like, hey, you gotta go. Yeah, oh, and speaking of which, you know, now we're gonna be moving our eyes on towards Odil, where, you know, Early game pressure is the name of the game uh, coming in from Matilda's, but she's being pushed towards the turret, being forced to retreat, and now we're going to be having the turtle on towards the other corners of the river where most of the members of Omega are fixating themselves towards the top side, trying to get a catch on towards the tower. Yeah, yep. honestly, I would think they would want to be a little bit more aggressive here, especially uh, especially down towards bottom side, but it, it looks like, you know, Harith is going to be a little bit of issue since he is going to the EXP lane. He wants to rush that level four as quickly as possible. Yeah, but the only difference right now for Leo Murphy is he is a calm player. He doesn't get tilted as much. So all those TPs are probably not going to get into his head. Some of the tanks right here that Leo Murphy talks, they actually react. But for Heath, I don't think that's going to be the case anytime soon. Yeah, and speaking of which, you know, late game is going to be very interesting where you got uh, picks like the Ling, and on the other side, you got the Harith, the Rogers. Which, which one do you think, like, you know, will be much stronger hitting towards late phase? Because I'm pretty concerned if Yelly Hayes gets to late game. Yeah, you know, I, I definitely agree with your sentiment here, but yeah, speaking of Yelly Hayes, he's forced to push back in towards lane. And coming back to the question here, I think at the end of the day, it's about, it's, I would say it's almost around even here, but I will say that Alter Ego does have the better late game composition because there's a lot more relevant ultimates and also just relevant heroes in those situations. Uh, now, Kurtizi is going to get a little bit of damage here, but Pai, he wants to zone him out to ensure that the rest of the team can actually contest for that purple buff. Luckily, Kurtizi is still having his retribution but that just means that uh, that the turtle is going to have zero pressure coming in from Omega. Well, you know what, Gijun? I think Alter Ego has a better late game lineup just because of the Harith. Yeah. In terms of scaling, the Harith can just pop off anytime soon. We're just getting that cer those certain items on his side. I mean, I get it. Uh, Kenji has a late game potential Aye. as well. But there's a fight happening right here. Yep, and they're going in pretty hard, but they're backing away as soon as possible. Purple buff again, contested, but that's going to be a big ultimate coming in from Cartesi. They can't really do too much to contest, and Heath, he could try to make the play, but again, all five members are here. Sorry, all four members are here for the side of Alter Ego, and the fifth one just joining from lane. Hajizi is going to get chunked so, so low, but look at the top side, Kenji, a free push. Well, I really felt like Alter Ego here is putting way too much of that micro-aggression and they are reaping a lot of rewards out of it. Like, as you can see, although the goal lead is going to be relatively small at the moment, they've already got the turtle, they've already taken all these buffs. We're checking out some of these items. Uh, anything interesting to note coming in from uh, early phase? Not so much. Pai is almost close to his Bloodlust Axe. And as you can see, Heath here catching out Leo Murphy and Yam trying to go for the help. And Heath might have bitten more than he can chew there. Okay, in terms of items, they're just getting their core items first, but 
AE here. They really just want to start the fight. Calamity Reaper on that Harith. Haji all, only has the Raptor Machete. And for Kenji, he has the glowing wand, if I'm not mistaken. I just can't see it from here. <laughs> yeah, he's almost getting it. Oh, wait, no. Kachichi looking to try to jump on top of Leo Murphy, but he's able to get pulled back with the help of Udil. They're going to disengage for the fight, but he's going to get chucked down. Absolutely destroyed and disrespecting his space, especially without Flicker. But it's not over yet. Kenji is going to be dropping down that meteor shower and heat. Even though he used the way of the dragon, he might have been off a little more than he could chew. Yam is going to be able to enable himself to pick him off, and Kenji in the next to fall, but it is going to say hello. Hello, Jelly Boy here. Say hello to this. Can he get one more? The killing spree the is going to be enough. No, it is not. Orange buff a little too good. Yelly Hayes goes down and is going to be a three for one trade in favor of yep. Alter Ego. And I guess this just explains what the Yi Sun Shin ban is for. If there was a Yi Sun Shin in this game, this wouldn't have been possible for Alter Ego to just dive in catch them off guard omega esports here they need to find a way to get case to drop those traps i absolutely agree with that and you just look how well coordinated of an attack alter ego esports responded with although they were in really awkward positions with Chelboy coming in and out of that sort of fight but he has been able to get those kills in and he's two kills up alongside with yam this is where things get start to get a lot more dangerous for omega and they have to pull those moves because we talked about the early game. This is where they are supposed to shine. Uh, I, I, I don't know if y'all are realizing, but Yam's actually kind of getting a little big here. He's got yeah. 4K worth of gold, yeah. a Calamity Reaper, and a Holy Crystal six minutes into the game. But the fight is already oh. going to continue. Cosmic Black's not going to land. But Yam, he's just going to say, hello, you started the fire at the worst time possible. And Cartesi looking to turn this around with the help of the Meteor Shower. He comes on through. Dragon Tail will actually connect him, but his passive is going to keep it alive. But he knows better. He can't go too far. Far. Alter Ego is so snappy with their reactions. It's like one uh, one thing or one time you see that they're at the top lane, you engage a fight five seconds after they're there on the middle lane fighting with their teammate as well. So for Omega Esports, they need to find the players from Alter Ego more. They need to be aware where they are at certain points in time. To create this advantage because Omega Esports they have a lot of pickoff potential. They, the, they have the Selena on their side, they have the show on their side. Talking about pickoff potential, the, the way the dragon's already be coming through right after, but Yam, he needs to decide on which side of the map he needs to fight on as they got split into two. They find the first initial catch, but then there is the return coming in from Cartesi with the help of Yelly Hayes. Very interesting move from both sides. So you can see Yam was really moving in between splitting the team apart, but they have managed to get that catch right over on towards those small little bushes. And finally, at least, Omega Esports can shut down Leo Murphy in the process, but it still takes a little bit more for them to get to where they need to be, as we can definitely see a little bit of a deficit in terms of goal at the moment. But hey, one good team fight could possibly change everything for Omega. Mm -hmm. Kenji right now has the Ice Queen wand with the glowing wand. This is an important power spike for the side of Omega Esports. They can control the fights, or if, they, if, if ever they want, they can contest this turtle take. But for them, it's not going to be the best idea as they catch out by. And that is what I'm saying. Mm. Find the right target and punish him. Because yeah. Alter Ego Esports, if they cannot rotate to that certain area, you are going to have a better oh, time. Oh, yeah. He actually oh. by any of the skill shots. And Cartesi is able to get a little bit more. But the return kill is Jelly Boy. He's oh. able to dodge the perfect abilities at the right time. Butters, you're totally right there about the target priority. But I think that's not all. Hajizi is going to try and force the fight onto Jelly Boy, who has to run away. Leo Murphy, he's got nothing else. He drops down the spiral. Jelly Boy needs to take out Yelly Hayes, but the way of the dragon came off of cooldown at the right time, and Yam, he can't go down. He wants to look for a return kill, and the Chrono Dash, it doesn't get him just yet. Finally, Omega find the trade they were looking for, two for one. I just want to say that Alter Ego Esports is giving a Yam more freedom to choose the heroes that he wants. He's been forced to use the Yu Zhong. He's been forced to use these side laners that can just tank and deal significant damage. But right now, a Harith with a Calamity Reaper, a Holy Crystal, he's proving the naysayers wrong. That's right. And 
With that, we definitely check out some of all these sort of builds. Athena Shield is being bought over from Savif. He's going to get more and more tank here as, of course, Leo Murphy will be helping him in the process uh, for the side of Elder Ego, of course. But just look at how they control the entirety of all these uh, mid-game fights. It's been looking relatively well for Omega Esports, but they really have to give high priority on all these big objectives. And the next one's coming right in with the Lord. Oh, heading up towards the top side. I totally agree. And I think, you know, Omega at this point in time at the 26k mark where a lot of their mid-game heroes have gotten the utility items, especially like the Ice Queen one, it helps them look for that return kill. Way of the Dragon onto the Sylvana for now, but Leo Morph can easily jump out with the Imperial of Justice. But now they are running backwards and Kenji, he's just cutting them down with the Meteor Shower. I can't see whether he's going to kill Pi or not. Yes, he is so low on health. He's so trapped. He is done for. But ah, uh, down by the bottom side, Pi is going to trade for Heath and they, it's not looking too good. Until Cartesi comes in, he's coming in with the Black Dragon Easy. form as he wants to jump out towards Chelly Boy. He gets him, but it's not enough. No CC to lock him down, and he doesn't want to jump forward any further. Yeah, and looking at it, Alter Ego Esports, yes, they have the lead, but there is one thing that they cannot get. They cannot get the turrets here onto the side of Omega Esports. Yes, you had a four kill lead into the early game, but if you cannot convert it into objectives just because Kenji is just clearing out the waves, then that is going to be a big problem on your side. As we get which, we're going to be having a big fight here. Kenji gets picked up. And he goes unstoppable, and nobody has been able to stop this Harif in the process. It's uh, it's tough. It's tough because Yam is he's five and zero. Oh, okay, he's five and zero, oh, and that means that the rest of AE want to actually push on forward to try and steal the bus. Oh, 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 Bill Murphy getting hard easy. This is looking great. Can they get one more? Yes, they can. As Yam drops down the Zam and Force Yelly Hayes, he's forced to run on backwards, and that's going to be three of their more important players, two of their cores going down, and the tier two on top of all of that. Oh my goodness. Alter Ego Esports. I was just saying that Kenji is going to be very important for their defense. And right now, as you can see, the Meteor Shower is there. It will hit a lot of members here for the side of Alter Ego, but it won't take them down. Yeah, not just yet, not just yet. It's a, it's a slow roll, you know? You gotta wait for the conditions to be right. Yeah, I felt like Omega Esports is taking too many of these fights where not exactly every single one of the fights are actually necessary. They were pushing in towards mid without much of the area control and easily Alter Ego just snapped right back at them. And you just see Yam yeah, has free reign. He just dives straight on top and goes unpunished. And here comes the Lord attempt coming from Elder Eagle. This is going to be one of the bigger fights here. He flickers forward to try and stop them as much damage as possible as he blocks half of the Meteor Shower from Kenji. Oh my goodness, Alter Ego were willing to throw their bodies in front of the damage to secure this Lord. But this is okay for Omega Esports. They still can go for the steal. They have Haji, they have Kenji. The question is, will they go for it? The answer is no. Alter Ego Esports, just take that Luminous Lord. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're way too out of reach, understanding the fact that, hey, it's three members versus five, and this time it's already 30 minutes into the game, which is relatively concerning with the Luminous Lord coming at them eventually. So if they were to lose even more members, I'm not even sure, like, with the yellow case as well as Cartesi comes back up, and they manage a good defense. I think, uh, uh, sorry about yeah, this, but yeah, I, I do think with Kenji, it is possible, but they just have to sacrifice life to uh, their own life totals to protect the wave, because at right now, Omega, they want to cut the waves using uh, their mobility with Hajizi. Yeah, and Omega Esports, they aren't given the chance to go for their uh, initiates, because if Selena hits someone with Arrow or, ha or Heath, gets a good way of the dragon, that's going to be great for them. But if they are forced to engage, they're just forced to react, and that's not going to be good on their side. Alter Ego wants to force the situation here. Hello, it has already been brought down low, but Hajizi forcing to use his ultimate to get out of the way. Now, for the full engagement here, Hajizi tries to pull something off, but yeah, hell, he is able to get the way of the dragon onto Pi, but that's not going to be enough. That's not the target that you want, as they were able to turn this around, barely using most okay. of their ultimates at that point in time. Meteor Shower as well onto Jelly Boy. This could be a huge pick. They can turn this around. Omega looking for the opportunity, but unfortunately, all they get is a good defense. Jelly Boy survives and ends the game. GG, well played. Just look at Alter Ego, how they managed to pull every single move 
on top of Omega Esports as much as. Fearless. Fearless.